I'm actually pretty excited about this one. Despite all of the malfunctions being fixed, like when you colored over something, say you copied, it would put a, a transparent box around it and just looked awful. They've also fixed some of the uh, text editing, like it was just being weird with the text. Thankfully, in this update, they fixed all of that. But not only that, but they added a new brush for us. Here's the thing with the brush. When I downloaded it, there was no brush there. So what you want to do is you want to make a new brush. For the people who know how to do this, this is going to be a repeat. For the people who don't, here's how you're going to make the new brush. You're going to come here to this little new paper icon under your brushes. You click on that. And it's going to start out with a pen brush, name, no name, your minimum, or your minimum width, and then your width. This changes how much it goes down to a point with pressure. This changes just how big it is normally. And then you click on where the type is. You'll get a drop down list saying pen, airbrush, eraser, watercolor, blur, or finger. You would press here on finger. Now the brush, it looked a little weird to me when I first looked at it. I didn't know exactly what to expect from it. So here's what you should expect from it. You can't, oh wait, that's my pen. When you're making the fingertip brush, it won't brush on without any color. You can see our my examples here, where you can bring it from the color in and out, and it doesn't matter what color you use. You can use white, you can use that blue that I was using, yay. And it can make some pretty cool effects. If you're looking for uh, small fur details, I'm pretty sure this would work pretty well. It just takes some time and getting used to. Yeah, I suggest just making a brush or just sticking with what you've been doing unless you really want to take the time to go through like this every single strand anyway now here's the fun thing with this brush and I just want to show you guys this because it was fun so I have my two colors here again it doesn't matter which color you're using and you can smudge it through it's kind of like the smudge tool that you can get on GIMP and I believe Photoshop. You just smudge it. It looks pretty cool. And then there's my favorite part. You drag the color around and the color will slowly pick up more and more and more color from wherever you're dragging it. This looks pretty cool. And you can warp everything. I wanted to go that way, now I want to go this way. It just warps and it looks pretty fun that's why I said you don't always have to use it for that first stuff it just take forever you can use it for small background details definitely or if you're going for something abstract this is probably going to be the brush you want to use I mean it's a lot of fun change the width on that so you get more of a smudge, more of a warp. Remember just the bigger the brush the longer it's going to take to get around. The smaller the brush the less time. If I were to put that down to 45, or, yeah that's 45. You get the small little warps. And yes it'll drag this color for quite some time. And drag it all the way around. And the bigger the brush, the longer you drag this color for. Doesn't help them going through all the colors. <laughs> so yeah, those are the new updates. I hope you guys enjoy that new brush. I know I, I'm probably going to. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave a comment. I try to get to the comments as fast as I can. Sometimes it doesn't work out as well as I would hope, but I do try. If I don't respond to you in a good amount of time, don't be afraid to contact me over the DeviantArt that I have. That is down in the description. Contact me over there. I'll probably get to you faster than I will on YouTube because YouTube. Well, until next time, see you guys later.